Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. This is gonna be a very quick tip. Someone asked on the Ableton Live group on Facebook about how to switch patches. Say you're using Massive and you wanna switch pass, uh, patches and you wanted to automate that process. And there really is no way to do it inside of the VST, but there is a workaround using instrument racks. So this is just a quick video on two different ways to do it, depending on how abrupt you want the change to be. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this for you and I'm gonna switch the patch with just this one knob so I'm gonna there are really two patches of massive and I'm gonna switch between them just using this one knob so let's just go ahead and listen Pretty cool, right? And that one's the one that goes very slowly at a gradual pace from one patch at zero to the other patch at 127. And then there is another way, I'm not sure about how quickly that person wanted to make the change, but I also have it set up here where it's just a, essentially a toggle switch. It goes from zero to one, and that's from patch to patch. There's no nice transition though. So this is what that would sound like. So that's, how to, that's what it sounds like. So I'm just gonna show you how to make those real quick. First thing you need to do is come into an instrument rack. And then you'd need to drop two instances of Massive on here. Cool, right? And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna change this sound to a preset, something like that. So right now, this is what we have. On the first Massive chain, this is the, this is the sound. And on the second Massive chain, this is the sound. All right, so what we need to do is actually come into where it says chain right here and on this blue line, bring it all the way over. And then above that blue line, there's a light blue line and you wanna take that and bring it all the way over to the one. And that's gonna show you this kind of gradual decay line. That's what you want. That's how much of the signal is being let through wherever this blue line, this chain selector it's called is. So right here, it's about halfway through so you're gonna get about half of the sound going through uh, the output of the rack. And on the bottom one, you pull it over the same way, but on this one, you're gonna take that top blue line, light blue line, and drag it all the way over. So now, if you're in the middle here, you're gonna get half of the first patch and half of the second patch coming through the output. And really, the only thing you have to do now is you can automate this chain selector by right-clicking and say, Map to Macro. And now, as I move this knob, you can see that that chain selector is moving up and down the grid there. Pretty cool, right? And the other way to do it, if you wanted just to go from one to the other without that steady decay, would be to bring over these chain selectors here, and put this one on one, and this one on zero, and then come into map, and then just bring the max down to one. So now when I go back and forth, I'm only going from zero to one. So anyway, that's how you would switch patches inside of Ableton Live if that's what you wanted to do. If you end up using it, let me know. I want to check these things out. Anyway, I hope it helped. I hope you guys learned something and we'll see you next time. Peace.